it is me, Rhea Peterson. How's it going? Today's meal prep is going to be very quick, very simple. There are no appliances involved and it is going to be budget friendly and a good bulk item. I have got some chicken salad and homemade granola bars, which I'm super excited about. They're a chewy granola bar and they just look so good. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Rhea Peterson. I upload meal prep videos every Monday and I also do cleaning, organizing, mom life, and a bunch of other stuff. So if you're into that, feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, I'm gonna be quick and we're gonna get started right now. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to do the granola bars first because they are going to need to chill in the fridge for like an hour because they're like the chewy kind of granola bars. I'm really excited to make them and eat them. So I'm gonna get all the ingredients out, we're gonna mix them up and then get them into the fridge. Okay, so these granola bars were crazy easy to put together and I am st I have so many ideas of things that you could do with these granola bars, whether it's like adding dried strawberries or fruit, adding more nuts, things like that. I kept it pretty basic. The recipe called for pepitas, is that how you say it? To put in here, but I opted for hemp seed hearts or hemp heart seeds and chia seeds because it's what I had and I been really enjoying them lately so why not make it in a way that you're gonna really like it but it was really easy to mix everything together it's set up really nicely the only thing they're a little sticky uh, but otherwise these are really really good Doesn't that look so good? What's really nice is I was able to make these gluten-free simply by using gluten-free oats. And a lot of the granola bars in the grocery store aren't necessarily gluten-free. So this is a really easy way to get that nice chewy bar action without worrying about it having something in there that you can't. So I really like to know what is in my food and this was a really fun thing to discover. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to just make my own chewy bars, but I was perusing Pinterest. I came across a couple of recipes for it and I was really, really excited to try them. And my kids actually love these. I think they like them more than just like the Kirkland chewy bars that are so popular in my house normally. Like these are really, really good. Okay, so I am going to chop up all of my rotisserie chicken and then I'll get started on the vegetables. This is really easy and quick and no ovens, stove, microwave, nothing today, which is very exciting. So I'm gonna get started chopping up chicken. Now I will link a recipe that is very similar to what I'm doing. I, this is, 
it's like a measure with your heart is often how I cook. I get an idea in my head and I just kind of wing it. It does kind of make it hard to repeat sometimes, but with things like this, you kind of just know what kind of taste you're going for. And it's really fun to just experiment with it. So this time I'm adding celery, grapes, apple, green onion, just things that are all kind of cohesive that I like that add kind of a, a freshness and a sweetness. And so that's what I decided to lean into. I threw in a cucumber because I wanted to bulk it up a little bit more. Um, and what makes it a lot easier is that I just got a rotisserie chicken from Costco. So I didn't have to worry about making anything really. And I was really happy to not use like any heating and implements in my house to do all of this. So this this meal prep was the fastest one. I think if I wasn't messing with the camera and stuff, I could have done this all in less than an hour. It was just that fast. Um, and my husband really likes how this turned out and I really enjoy it. It just, this one is also really, really good. This might be one of my favorite weeks so far. So I always love ways to add more protein into things. And so adding cottage cheese and yogurt is a really great way to do that. I'm not a huge like mayonnaise fan. Um, so I kind of just lean into other kind of brighter flavors. At least that's how they are to me in my brain. So I'm adding just plain yogurt. Too good is one of my favorites. And then a cup or two cups of cottage cheese and lemon juice and then a pepper. My great grandpa was a big pepper fan and his, like the thing that everybody talks about was when he cooked, he had this one recipe in particular, like a wild rice recipe. And in the recipe, it says you add pepper. And once you think you've added enough, you add more. And that's kind of been my motto with pepper. I'm a big fan. So I'm gonna just keep adding pepper. <laughs> it might seem ridiculous to some how much pepper I added to this, but I do like spicy things. And I tried this and decided it needed some Dijon mustard. I needed a little bit more of a kick. And then later on, I'm gonna decide to add even more spicy things to it. So very much a choose your own adventure type chicken salad. Okay, well, I'm going to assemble the ready to eats. I opted to not chop up the spinach. I'm putting it in the bottom. I just wanted to add a little bit more um, to this and I figured adding a little bit of leafy green would be good, a nice fibrous kind of addition with some more vitamins and minerals. Just, I'm, all, I'm always trying to see where I can add more nutrients to my meals. So I'm gonna portion out all of the chicken salad and then I kept it extra simple and we're just gonna have it with crackers. And there's my spicy addition, red pepper flakes. You can't go wrong with those, right? Do you guys like spicy or is spicy just not your thing? I love spicy food and so does my husband. So this was really fun to put together. <laughs> We're gonna check in and chop up our chewy bars. These set up really nicely. It took me a minute to figure out how I wanted to cut them up, but I figured it out in the end. So I'm gonna get these all portioned out and packaged up, and then we're gonna visit the fridge.
Okay, that is everything. It all went by really, really fast. It was really, really easy. And I love a recipe that you can use, basically just kind of whatever you have lying around. I like to call them choose your own adventures. So thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please consider giving me a subscribe, click that thumbs up button. And other than that, I'll see you later. Bye.